The people have asked for it, and because of the unwavering skill and dedication of Herky Jerky, it's finally complete. Our first ever adamantium weapon. And if Owen wasn't overpowered before, he sure as hell is now. <laughs> Welcome back to Rimworld, where today we reject Monkey and embrace Steam. And also, Owen has a very fancy new sword. Somebody asked, can we just make him an adamantium one? So I have. Uh, I haven't looked at it yet. Oh my god. 76.88 DPS. What the hell? 98% melee armor penetration. 0.25 move speed. Yeah, that is uh, that's sufficiently broken. Man's gonna cut a centipede clean in two. I'm not really sure what to do with the old one. We could put it on display, or we. I mean, really, we should just give it to someone. We need to upgrade everybody's weapons anyway. We could give it to Siala, given that she's our oldest continuous colony member. Sure, Romulus is older, but I'm not entirely sure how or why. Siala is one of the originals, though. She's been here. From the start, she she helped found the entire Daimos dynasty. I think the least she deserves is a fairly fancy sword. Now, before we get on with the massive steam-powered castle upgrade, what I want to do is get Herky Jerky in the background here while we're working on that, making a bunch of adamantium in bulk. We have the power to do it now. Why not? And as we've seen, it's pretty goddamn powerful and might just about even the odds when we're up against some of these slightly more endgame factions. We'll both make the adamantium, and then we'll just make people a variety of weapons. I don't want everybody to have the same weapon. We'll make maybe kind of three of these, and 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 kind of some of the weapons from the Kenshi armor, especially, because those look pretty ridiculous. Make a couple of Forsaken Spears. Colonists are gathering to celebrate Kipos and Sabat's marriage. Let's just hope that that baby doesn't get in the gin again. And actually, on the subject of baby, we had one born <laughs> while I was doing the intro there. Takaru Sabat. Get you renamed in a second. You're not going to bring your own baby to your own wedding. That's a bit weird. Oh, no! <laughs> Bumfrey Hoggart Plasma had a fucking heart attack at the wedding? Oh, that is incredible timing. Do you think Bumfrey Hoggart Plasma just held on there right to the last moment? It's like, I'm going to go out with a bang. That is actually insane. Bumfrey Hoggart Plasma has reached the biological age of 74, and they have dropped down from a heart attack. <laughs> Well, I think it's fairly safe to say that wedding is um, probably pretty ruined at this point, eh? It gets worse. Bonfrey Hoggart Plasma was apparently Kipos' niece and friend. <laughs> and if you're wondering why everybody is invited to the funeral, uh, it's because everybody's related. Uh, kind of family tree's gone a little, um, gone a little circular at this point. What a day. <laughs> what a fucking day. <laughs> Somewhere in that suit of armor is, uh, is a baby. There it is at long last. Everything we need to build the basic clock making table. Artificers, masks, clockwork skeletons, clockwork arms and legs. Oh, that sounds pretty high tier. Wow. Bloody cane. There's our circular saws. I think we'll leave that as another background task. Maybe get everybody a circular saw would be pretty nice. And then obviously a, a regular main weapon as well, though it would work. I can't imagine the damages. Yeah, 7.67. Not fantastic. Not fantastic compared to a sword that does... 90 dps main focus of today is well we're almost done with the terraforming so we can build them new houses new living areas more convenient kitchens growing zones everything we can start to move out of the kind of old tired medieval castle at this point and into a much more focused industrial area but as with every era i still want to stick to a very particular theme and with this one i want to go quite heavy on the steampunk side of things if we get every house equipped with some sort of steam power generator i thought that'd be kind of nice pipes everywhere Big brass furniture, walls cast in bronze, whatever it happens to be. Assuming we can afford it, to be honest, I was kind of tempted to cast the entire castle in bronze. Turns out that's a little bit expensive. Maybe a little bit beyond what we're capable of right now, given that we're having to dig everything up out of the floor. We can build regular bronze walls, but the, the main problem is we can't actually cast bronze castle walls. So apparently we can make it out of glass, though. But that's probably not very defensively sound. What is it we need? It's the analytical stack. How do we build that? I have no idea. We've got automaton construction table. Why don't we just put all of the basic kind of steampunk crafting stations in here? That could be kind of a huge problem. We've got the gears. We've got the springs. We've got all the basic building blocks of the steampunk stuff with the exception of riveted leather. There aren't, there aren't any animals on this map. It's a desert. We, we've barely had any animals on this map. So many things need the riveted leather as well. Loads of the prosthetics, the armors, the steam forge itself needs 20 riveted leather. Um. Oh, I mean, there is something we could do. There is a way we could do it. Is this the price we're going to pay for going into a new era? I don't see how else we're going to manage it. Oh, brilliant. 
Thank you, Cassandra Classic. Of all the things we could have turned into leather, insects are not one of them. They do make for really good poking targets for Ohm's new sword, though. Oh, it started. Now we get to see how powerful this sword really is. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, wow, I think that'll... I think that'll probably do the job. Really, we need to see... We need to see him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the centipede. Like, one really strong target to get a real grasp of how good it is. Mega spiders. He probably could have just killed them with one swipe from his previous sword anyway, if he got lucky. Oh, that's a lot of bugs. Oh, boy, that's a lot of bugs. Okay, that's all of them, though. Uh, bare minimum? Tiny, tiny, tiny baby? I need you to turn around and go home. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> well, let's hope that armor's good. Oh, no. Oh, tiny child. He's only a year old. My God, he's a Vulcanian. Bare minimum's a Vulcanian. That was the baby that was born in the intro, just to, <laughs> just to clarify. Ohm? Ohm is trapped. He can't even go and bail him out. Leave him. Leave him. There's no one nearby that can help. They're too busy working on this area, ready for the base expansion. We could bring up these three. Uh, none of them have weapons. Siala has a weapon. Siala has a pretty good, damn good weapon too. Get in there, Siala. The armor's holding it. The armor is holding it. This one-year-old child went up against two Megapedes, a Spellipede, and a Mega Spider, and was actually not too bad. And then we get Siala to dash out there, grab the baby, get home. One more. Incredible. Actually incredible. He didn't take a single hit this time either. Again, probably won't really help too much against miniguns, rocket launchers, that type of thing. But overall, not really too bad. Now, those weapons also don't have a quality with them as well. You can't make an excellent whatever it was called again. A virtuous truce. You can't make like an excellent one, a masterwork one. They are just a set quality because they use a very specific recipe for that. Romulus is on it. Glycetet medicine. I think that's fair enough in this situation. I think this poor baby got absolutely shredded. Okay, there we go. There we go. Should be fine. I'm also using combat T-diffs because loads of people in the comment section have been saying try out this mod because it makes it so much easier to uh, be able to kind of quickly assess what's wrong with them. Child did almost lose its head. So, it, I mean, I guess in some ways you could kind of say the armor's working given that it's not wearing any head protection. Can babies wear giant helmets? What's well, a better question is can babies wear giant mechanized plate armor? Damn it, Cassandra. I don't want an impressive assembly. I want humans to rivet. Have these peace talks? Uh, we could talk them into becoming leather for me. <laughs> Weird question, but hear me out. Because I've never I've never tried anything like this before. I've never really had this problem of no leather before. If we were to send it home to the map where the peace talks are, and everybody was to, uh, say, die, and then Ohm were to butcher them there... Would that make these people upset here because we butchered human-like? I would assume not because it would be a separate map. How would they know? Ohm is kind, but he's kind to his people. Ohm is also apparently too heavy to move. That doesn't make any damn sense. It would be a problem if we had leather because then I could build a hot air balloon out of human flesh. Whoa. <laughs> that would be, would be pretty impressive. Atreus caught it herky-jerky. Herky jerky, didn't your wife drop down dead at a wedding no less than a few days ago? Moving on fast. <laughs> what 60 years of marriage to one old mechanical man? Oh, wait, what? We don't actually get to go to the peace talks. Oh, no, it's just event driven. I sent Ohm as a negotiator. The man's never spoken. <laughs> Boy, I wonder why those talks backfired. Well, here we are at Killer Desert. Mainly because the peace talks weren't. You know, leatherable. Okay, what have we... Oh, my God. I've got larger faction bases enabled. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look very friendly. A high explosive shell. Uh, Ohm? Run. Run fast. Please, please, I just need your leather. Hold on a second. A crate with a fat jory called Butcher. Hello, Butcher. No, 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 stop. Fuck, fuck the polar bear. Let me in. <laughs> oh, God, let him in. You got the most powerful sword I think I've ever seen in Ramon. You can't chop down a friggin' wooden wall. Oh! Okay. I mean, we're in pretty dangerous chain reaction territory here, I won't lie. The dark porcupines. Oh, no. Auto cannon turrets. Um, maybe let's... Don't do that. Don't do that, though. But let's maybe, let's maybe leave. You idiot. Oh, he doesn't care, but he's an idiot. Well... This is going to be a hell of a fight. Oh, fuck. If we can pick them off one at a time, we might be okay. Get him. Get him fast. Legs gone. Nice. Easy. Done. There's one down. Potato has been potatoed. Posh? 
Get sliced. Great shot. I mean, that was that was them. Great shot on your own teammate. My leather. Kill. Kill. It's leather time. Be careful, I'm. Oh my god, be careful. Get back in cover. Fucking hell. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> right. As long as we keep them within melee range and we keep one of them between someone else with a gun, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. More importantly, he's got his magic deflection sword. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is horrible. They're shooting each other, though. Look. They're shredding each other more than home. Get him. Get him. Oh, watch out for the dynamite. Oh, oh God. You ever get the impression home's a little too powerful? <laughs> the armor will break before the man. How is it? How is it doing? I need to see the information in the armor. 66%. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Oh, he's beginning to believe. We've made a set of armor so powerful they can't get through it. <laughs> can't stop him. He didn't bring enough bullets. Oh, he's doing it. He's actually doing it. Finish the job, Ohm. Finish the job. They're fighting him with a bottle of wine. I can't... I can't believe it. We've crafted armor so powerful they can't get through. He took a crack from a pump shotgun to the leg. And that was it. Now, I'm not going to try and fight those auto cannons because those will destroy us. These were fairly low-tech pirates. They had Uzis and handguns. Nothing massively advanced. If we were up against charge weapons, I think that would have been a very, very different fight. Now we'll put down one of those. Better not get angry about this. Otherwise, I'm going to be angry about them getting angry. You fine with it? They're not bothered. No, we butchered human-like negatives. Oh, let the leather flow. Okay, then. Well, I'd say that's probably enough. Goodbye. <laughs> have, a, have a great day. Oh, that was the perfect amount as well. 34.66 out of 35. The hobo, Rimchild, has gotten sick from fibrous mechanites. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Oh, we're attempting another marriage, are we? Who's gonna die this time, I wonder? Oh, Ohm took his armor off. Wow, how damaged did it get then? Damn, no one died this time. Although the... Church is covered in a huge amount of ostrich blood. <laughs> hey, Ohm. Where did, where did all this leather come from? I was a bit silly asking him because he, he like actually can't talk. And with that massacre, we should now be able to build our clockwork forge. Oh, battle animals. Hey, battle animals would be really, really good this time around because we're, well, we're only using melee. They, they, they've got a legitimate purpose. Uh, well, or, or they could be boom rats. Oh, good. Thank you for that. It was me thinking, hey, maybe we'll get an elephant. Maybe we got a friggin' rhino. Maybe we'll get something we can armor up, give clockwork limbs, and charge into battle. What you've actually given me is a friggin' burden. Or leather. Oh my god, all those people didn't have to die after all. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like cold, hard industry to me. Or maybe that's all the human leather I used to build a forge. So we now have the automaton construction table, which allows us to build a beetle, so of course I'm gonna build a beetle. And we also have the alchemy table, which, from what I recall... That's a refined serum that causes a long-lasting warmth in an individual. Should we just drug the whole colony? I mean, even the babies. I mean, especially the babies. They love drugs. <laughs> what is this stuff? I'll take the lot. Solar blossoms. Friendship ended with corn. Old hard drugs are my new best friend. God damn, look at how much stuff is on here. Well, I'm glad we've ended up terraforming most of the desert. The chemistry lab requires ruby lenses and sapphire lenses. But if there's a possibility of making Ohm a mad alchemist running into battle throwing potions around, I'm in. How do we get... How do we get rubies and sapphires, though? Can we just get them out the... Oh, well. <laughs> well, how else is that question? Now, how can we outfit Ohm and his own unique set of steampunk gear? The steam-powered suit is outer. Okay. The clockwork exoskeleton is middle. Or we could combine those. Oh, that's weird. I won't, I won't question the exoskeleton being the middle layer. Artificer's mask or diving helmet? Oh, that's a hard choice. What, what, what type of armor are we looking at? 120, 120 from the helmet. It is a friggin' diving helmet. From the Artificer's Mask, nothing. Actually nothing. Research speed, social impact, shooting accuracy. Shooting accuracy. Ooh. Clockwork home. Yeah, I like it. Now, the Bionics are expensive, but they are an upgrade. Very kind of minor upgrades, because they are still steam-powered, ultimately. Steam-powered heart is only a 10% efficiency increase. 
but it is an efficiency increase. God, if we could fully upgrade him with steamwork things, that would be awesome. I love that you can make the clockwork stuff out of leather. It's, it's pretty low efficiency compared to the steamwork things, but all of our leather comes from human flesh. <laughs> is my lung? It's made out of Dave. <laughs> and a nose of solid copper. Sure. Oh, it's Atreus' birthday. Happy birthday, Atreus. He's got a chronic stomach disorder, but he's now also a martial artist. Take a quick look at the children in the colony now, because they should be old enough where we can see any passions they potentially picked up. So the hobo has, well, nothing, unfortunately. Uh, Dranmere, nothing. Brilliant. Uh, Beckle, Peckle, Pepper. Double passion in mining. That could be quite good. And then Octavius, double passion in crafting. Who's Octavius? Is that... Oh my god, hang on. Is that Herky Jerky's heir? It is. Finally, we've got a leader of the Dimos clan who's finally good at crafting again. Oh, that's incredible. He is a couch potato, though, much like his dad. That's really not very helpful. We could have this kid. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just go and sit there and read these books all day. Oh, dear. It appears somebody locked the doors. My god, we've got lavish meals from the Boom Rats. Right, got it. It's going to be very difficult to make lavish meals, actually, unless we've got... We do have that forsaken meat replacement plant, don't we? We could turn one of the towers into a growing zone for that because it has to grow in darkness. Right, we have planter boxes. Now let's take some of this 5,600 stone. Oh, so it looks like the chemical lab is a direct upgrade of the alchemy lab. Got it. Oh, he's done it. Ohm, put it on. Put it on, little Ohm. Oh, no. Atreus is gone. 77 at the age of heart attack. Wait. <laughs> I've been away for a very long time. 77 at the age of heart attack. Wow. Wait, hang on. Herky Jerky obtained a fast learner trait. At the age of 55? His son has actually already overtaken him in crafting, so... I mean, the next generation is set. It's just a shame about this one. We'll also start getting everybody equipped with pickaxes, too, because if we want to turn Ohm into the steam-powered Volcanian Arco Seed Man, we're going to need a lot more brass. Pickaxe is too large a weapon for Octavius to safely handle? What are you talking about? They're children! What else am I going to do with them if I don't put them in the mine? There you go. Pickaxes for everyone. I mean, it's only 10% extra work speed, right? But that'll add up if we've got everybody working in the quarry. And then we got a masterwork copper pickaxe for the final one there. <laughs> you can't even read it. Barnabas pursued the hobo by describing her as a fine bush. The hobo became aroused. <laughs> Get it off my screen. <laughs> Bloody hell, what a turnaround. The fine bush that is Hobo is already pregnant. Congratulations, Hobo. You, you okay? Oh, it's fibrous mechanite still. Oh, she's only 17. I mean, Barnabas is 18, so it's not it's not weird. And we do have a bit of an age in population right now, given that we've got, like, uh, you're, you're human, aren't you? 77, 73, 73, 73, 73. That was, I forgot about that. That was the mad orgy year. That right there is what we're after. Tasty, protein-rich alien mushroom that can be used as a meat substitute. Stri striker? Strike air? Done. E either way, I'll, I'll take the lot. 98% growth rate. We've got two towers full of it. No! Who died? Little gravy plasma. Oh. 70, 73, I'm going to assume. It was 78. You were one of the older ones. Oh, it had a, a pretty hefty impact on her children. Dranmere toughened up. Nimble. But Beckle Peckle. Beckle Peckle couldn't handle it. Became a wimp. Even a little pain will immobilize him. Oh, that's such a shame. Little gravy plasma was uh, was a pretty hefty part of this colony. Massive construction, mining, and medical. Oh, we just lost one of our best doctors right there. Luckily, we've got some other really good doctors. Goodbye, little gravy plasma. You did great things for this colony. Your many horribly inbred descendants will <laughs> live another day. <laughs> oh, I see you upgrade the clockwork bionics into steamwork bionics. So we need one vertebral mechanism... For the jaw, we need one mechanical mandible, and for the heart, we need one brass ticker. We also need neural apparatus for that. Neural apparatus is ruby, brass gears, steel, and meat? I wonder if the plants that we're growing can replace that, otherwise it's going to be made out of pure boom rat. I think the balancing on it is actually pretty good. It's, it's on par with some of the industrial bionics, sometimes even better, but you have to jump through a lot of hoops to get there. Oh, that's pretty terrible. Well, if they weren't already in a bad mood from the... Relative of half the colony dying. Oh, yeah, see, that's that's not ideal. Oh, and the children are upset because there are no dolls. Oh, Uncle Atreus died. Pumphrey Hoggart Plasma died. Little Gravy Plasma died. And now there's a bloody psychic drone. Wow. Uh, how are them drugs coming along? 
20%. Oh, no. Please, home. We need to medicate the babies. Wonderful. This is, this is fine. And we've got four more with extreme brain risk. Good. You know what? Don't worry about it. Let's just go and have a look at the research. We've got bone refining. Oh, good. That'll go nice with our human leather furnace. Bio laboratory. Synthetic food and advanced barnics. Walling this building consumes a lot of energy. Efficient farming. Chris plant works by 5%. That's quite nice. Or a flamethrower. Now look. I think it's fairly safe to say, not up for debate at all, that a flamethrower is very literally a firearm. Well, I want out of all of these. To be honest, I think efficient farming might do might do pretty well. Maybe the lavish meals would be the only thing to save us from everybody dying all the time. Somebody said this in the comment section. I've no idea how true it is. The comment section of Bamboo has been before. And it's also something I wouldn't ever have a problem with because I'm so un... <clears throat> I'm so good at RimWorld. Apparently, when people die, or in our case, multiple people die at the same time because apparently we have, you know, activities occurring simultaneously, it does put the storyteller on cooldown. So that might explain the big gaps of no raids that we've got, even though we're obviously cycling in and out of Phoebe Chalax, but kind of around this section, we had a big chunk of the colony die. You could kind of track each generation by the deaths. I mean, obviously you can track every generation by the deaths. That's generally how that works. Ah, speak of the devil. <laughs> ah, Racy Susan, what incredible timing for that heart attack. Racy Susan Rimchild. Ah, uh, Susan? You are, uh, 75, pal. Okay, I think the plan is let's let everybody do whatever they want, when they want. We can't, unfortunately, spare time for a funeral. If we interrupt people eating, it might be the difference between them going catatonic or not. But goodbye, Racy Susan. You will be in my heart, even if you're in no one else's. If you're wondering why there was a 75-year-old Rim child, characters in Rimworld don't develop a backstory until they're 20, as far as I recall. So because we're aging 18 times faster, they would need to live to 360 before they would actually develop that adulthood backstory. But it really goes to show you actually how long it takes people to grow in Rimworld. It kind of makes children mods without rapid aging a bit pointless, eh? That's also why in default children in school and children are born at like 14 or 15 or whatever it is, Otherwise, you would be waiting, well, ages. This campaign has been going on for, what now, close to two days. One day, 23 hours of actual gameplay. That's another catatonic breakdown. He's gone, sugar. Let it go. Oh, meanwhile, is just carrying on as if nothing's happened. <laughs> He's a little upset that three people died. Minus seven. He's almost equally as upset about being hungry as his about three people dying. I mean, I get it. I haven't had breakfast yet either. Oh, and look at that. Steamwork heart is complete. Steamwork jaw is complete. All we need now is meat for the neural apparatus. And very conveniently, I might have just the thing. DQ! Uh, DQ as well? Oh my god. One of our better farmers there too. And mining. So, so sugar is out for the count. DQ is dead. Cassandra is our oldest human colonist now, 74. Oh, good God. And with the exception of a grand total of four people, DQ was related to absolutely everybody. Well, that's probably going to kill a couple more people as well. Thank you, DQ. Yeah, this is going to be a fairly sizable funeral, eh? Wow. Goodbye, DQ. I, I mean, a lot of them won't be that bothered. Cousins couple of uh, direct siblings there, but no children. Well, hopefully that'll solve our meat problem. Horrible. What a massacre. It's the polar bear equivalent of Watership Down. But he can finally build it. The neural apparatus made from the finest jubi doo Sugar is gone. Oh, sugar. Well, I mean by actually sugar, though. We're, we're, we're losing an entire generation today. This is, this is insane. The end of the medieval generation. Wow. So while Ohm is working on the finishing touches to turn himself into steam-powered Ohm, he's kind of planning out the the housing area, the, the new zone where everybody's going to live, and hopefully it's going to be a lot more convenient. And I wanted to make it still, again, leaning into the whole kind of steampunk aesthetic out of copper or something like that. So I started planning out this first one using uh, this type of copper that you use with Rimforge to make into bronze, because we've got an abundance of that right now. 240 hit points, no beauty bonuses or anything like that. But then I saw that the other copper added by industrialization has a beauty bonus of seven, and we've got almost as much. Well, that's all well and good, but what am I going to floor these fancy copper houses with? Copper copper? <laughs> Here's a mad idea. What about carpets? Another one! Cassandra's gone. How am I supposed to get anything done when these people don't have the decency to stay alive? Goodbye, Cassandra. It's nice knowing you. It's another good colonist gone. Bare minimum, you're too late. Go away. Never even got to see my incredible copper neighborhood. Absolutely haunting. 
I'm so sorry, Ohm. Our little clockwork guy. We haven't got the bionics attached to him quite yet, but the gear is finished. 157% sharp, 79 blunt, and 5.1% heat. The Clockwork Exoskeleton gives 0.1 move speed and plus 20 carry capacity. And then the Steam Powered Suit gives 10% mining speed, 5% construction, and lower toxic sensitivity. Minus 0.1 move speed, but obviously that cancels out. What about the Diving Helmet? Does that give any bonuses? Lower toxic sensitivity does lower psychic, but it's a negligible amount, I think. The final thing to do for the little ohm, Steamwork Spine. Steamwork jaw, steamwork heart. Okay, here it goes. No pressure, Romulus. You're not exactly in the best environment for it. An outdoor hospital on a metal table. Nice work. There we are. Steamwork spine is in place. Now, with any bionics that aren't essential to life, so in this case, his spine is, is fine. That's regular efficiency. But the nose, for example, the efficiency will take up over time because he has to get used to it. I assume then the jaw will need a little bit of getting used to as well. Yeah, efficiency 0.01%. Wow, what? How much is going to take so long to get used to? And then the heart is in. Wow. Uh, that's too much jaw, though. I'm kind of questioning that. That's ticking up in 0 0.01 increments. Oh, no. How terrible. I might not be able to speak. <laughs> wow, this cup of furniture, eh? How incredibly unnecessarily bougie. Just create a... Oh, my God. A legendary cup of royal poster bed. Wow, that'll do it. We are probably going to have to mine a little bit more gold if I plan on giving everybody a four-poster bed. Then I guess while we're at it, we'll also put in a little bit of temperature control as well. Regular coolers. Could throw in gas coolers, but I worry that we're going to stretch our gas limits a little bit too far. At least with regular coolers. Oh, the regular the regular coolers are gone now. <laughs> I won't lie, this will probably take a very, very long time. But it'll transform the base from basic pebble and stone houses that we've had well, quite literally since the tribal era, into full-on proper luxury houses for people. And I'm sure it'll absolutely destroy our colony well. Um, oh no. <laughs> oh no, that spiked up fast. Ah, oh, good. And now we pay for our crimes. Uh, where are they though? That's quite a lot. Oh God. I'm sure Steam Powered Ohm can probably just about deal with it. We have a, a slight spider situation. Nothing to worry about. Everything everything will be fine. Well, they really did tread that one, eh? Yeah, this seems okay. Don't worry about it. He's fine. Good work, squad. Wow. That was uh, not too bad. Worry that some of this armor might be a slight little bit overpowered. Maybe a tad bit. <gasps> How did he do that so fucking fast? Was he right next to He was right next to him. His personality was kind. He was so kind. There was no stopping that at all. Big Pepper, I... Uh, you're going to have to stand trial for this. Quiet, please. Quiet down, everybody. Quiet. We are here to attend the trial of Big Pepper. A man... Guilty of slaying Arco Joris. Caught red-handed. Or green-handed. The only other Arco being we have ever known in existence. There can be only one outcome. Death for death. Take him away, Herky Jerky. Take him away. Oh, great ritual core. Under the watchful eye of Arcadius. Omen. Did you just give birth? Madam, we're at an execution. You should have held it. Why didn't you give birth before we left the house? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, great ritual core. Under the watchful eye of Arcadius and Ohm and RNG. Please accept this offering of Big Pepper, Slayer of Arco Joris. Oh my god. What is happening? What is going on? Uh, Hokey Jerky, maybe fuck off. <laughs> maybe, maybe get out of there. Oh. Something's happening to Ohm. This is crazy. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Do you see us, Arcadius? Do you see what we've done? This is insane. This is insane. Oh, Gravy Plasma. Oh, and the newborn baby. They're in the... Wow. Really makes you think. What the hell just happened? Big Pepper is dead. Sacrifice to the machine gods, sir. Uh, of course he was. Of course he was. What happened to Ohm, though? Health? 
I have... I have no idea. Blessed by Zer. In Blessed by Zer, I can see a whole new world of possibility. Sacrifice prisoner. The prisoner was guilty, but it doesn't feel right. He is kind. He is kind, but justice had to be passed. What? What happened? I have absolutely no idea how to interpret what happened there. Um. Well, what I do know is we should probably get that baby off of the floor. Barnabas! What are you doing? Don't make me find another person guilty. Stop that. Big Pepper will be consigned to the graveyard of sinners. He gets no funeral, and he doesn't get to lie next to the other colony heroes. You scumbag. Poor Arco Joris. But you know who does get a hero's funeral? That's right. Goddamn Arco Joris himself. Well, I'll be completely honest with you. I would be lying if I said anything other than I have no idea what happened today. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, was a complete fever dream. Ohm is now steam powered, and we sacrifice Big Pepper to a uh, machine god because he killed a green bear. Yeah, that sounds about right for Rumord. Sure, I think that's perfect. Thank you all for watching. Hope you are still enjoying this series here with Ohm and friends. The industrial era, I would say, is probably the least interesting of all the eras we've got to work with, which is why I've tried to incorporate a little bit of this extra Steam stuff, because at the end of the day, it is just regular old industrial room world. When we get into the space attack, and of course, eventually the architect stuff, that's when things start getting a bit more weird, a bit more esoteric. Uh, not that, of course, sacrificing a man who killed a green polar bear to a machine god uh, isn't esoteric, but I think this one's kind of a slow era, so we'll see how it goes. Thank you as well to the patrons, of course, for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you to Chase, Falcon Alaris, Gordy Number 1, Zetlock, Scaps, Spooty, nope, Spooky Booty Banger. <laughs> Mythomatic, Ciala, German Hammer, Brambio, Aramis, Chax, and Zaka for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you to you guys for making the channel possible. A thank you as well to Matteo, the, gen the Gentleman Ghostronaut, Yeeticus, Lazy Panda, Akka, Ractanian, Cass, J1293, Sephi141, and Pim.